This video shows a Microsoft option box and with in, in there there is a query and it's a subform which reacts on the event um, if there's something something unchanged. This is the value 0, 1 or 2. Depending on this value I get a different uh, result. The results are written here in the query car sale and um, here in the design view um, <coughs> where is it home um, design view that's the uh, the form which uh, the query which has the result which asks for the option select box and if it's zero gets all values one is only the sale values different to zero two if the sale sale uh, value is value is uh, different uh, is uh, different from um, is false so this is zero will be here zero zero is also okay and uh, now when I save this that's the what's happened what you see there if its value is changing that's what we have here just for this uh, declaration option that's a option group option button the value there is zero one and two and the event there is event after update we have here uh, it changed the subform data on a requery and inside the for subform we have uh, this as a data there's query you may select this query query sale sale that's one so what I'm doing now in this form is we will export the list which is here uh, visible if you have this one for example the sale values I want to export this then I push that button and we would we get the question uh, output to X as Excel uh, Word, Word file, Excel Word file, Word book file, and I would say here, for example, this is my output two. Now this is with the dialog, and it opens automatically, and we see now there are the results of my Excel file. So that's it, and you see that's the same results which we have there. If it's not sale, only the other values or all values export and then this is for example three now you will see those values are always consistent to the other one so may i may close it, close this now i want to save it as uh, to excel with the file name now what we do there we go to the design view open this at build uh, the build event a code builder and then we have here this is my that's these are my buttons my buttons buttons block the other one is the controls block let's do it like this for example now we have first the button export which is uh, with nothing nothing and now we have the other one is called the export to excel is always do command uh, a simple way is do command output two. There are other uh, commands also available, but the do command is like a macro writing. And then we have when we type the control shift, uh, we have the output as query. Control J is uh, selection. So we have output to query report uh, output. Where is it? Output table. Now we have, should look up the output to this uh, table query, table or query. That's possible. You know, it's now that's why I said query. And then we have the second parameter is um, object name. This is my table itself or the query. So if I take a query then I have to take something from the queries. Otherwise I have some to take something from the tables. Now this is my query car sales. And now we have this third parameter is output format. Is it as a uh, AC format XLS, a 
format HTML, PDF, RTF, SNP and all this stuff and we take, not the text, we take XL. And now the last one is important. This is output file. So this is S file name. This uh, and to start automatically. Now we would say <coughs> dimension S file name as a string. And we say as file name is equals to something. Now we were here uh, before this, we were here in our path and sales, saved some several files. Now I take this one, this is the path, and go to my code. I would say this is my path, and now behind there, it's for example output uh, results xlsx. XLSX here XLSX <coughs> now we will say uh, go to the real view and then we say export this one and it's all already it will be automatically saved as output result and it's also that we open it we don't have to open it always, so we may say uh, this one might be set to false, and then that's it. We might say auto start equals false. So that's the same, and we may delete it. In this case, for example, now when I go there, say okay, save it there, then we have the new values. If I take only the sale values and I open it now again, then we have just double click on it, and now the list is a little bit smaller. That's what we wanted. And you may find the code on my website. Uh, I drop it here to my code view option and there will be also the download code for it.